Hello and welcome to the episode 250 of What A Fab Day. I am your host, Simon Mas. We are going to focus on several live performances, one radio show, and a continuation of the work on Blue Jay Way. Let's see. As usual of late, we can start with the 7th of September 1960 and the Beatles' first residence in Hamburg, West Germany. The band's lineup for the evening performance at the Indra Club featured Beat Bass on drums and Stu Sutcliffe on bass. In 1961, we get a double feature in Liverpool for the Beatles, now a quartet with Pete Best still on drums and Paul McCartney on bass. After a lunchtime concert at the Cavern Club, the band was on the stage of the Litterland Town Hall for an evening show. Another hall in 1962. The Beatles played the Village Hall in Irby, home of the Newton Dancing School. It was a rather small venue in a small village for a concert booked well before the Beatles had any chart success, but, as it had happened in other occasions, Beatles manager Brian Epstein insisted that any booking that could not be brought back had to be honoured. This time, the organizers failed to gather even the £35 initially negotiated to pay the band, about £750 in 2020 money, and had to raise some money with a charity event to top the bill. Full Day 1963 In the early afternoon, between 1 and 4 pm, the Beatles were engaged at the Playhouse Theatre in London to record a special show for BBC's Saturday Club for the program's fifth anniversary. The show was aired on the 5th of October, between 10 am and 12 noon. Apart from the foreign audience listening to the BBC's General Overseas Service, which broadcast in short waves in the last half hour of the show, the general audience for the show in Britain was about 9 million people. Not bad at all. For the occasion, the Beatles performed I Saw Her Standing There, Memphis, Tennessee, Happy Birthday Saturday Club, a rearrangement of the well-known song in the style of Eddie Cochran, I'll Get You, She Loves You and Lucille. After the recording of the show, Paul McCartney gave a short interview for a program called A Word of Sound, broadcast by the BBC on the 21st of November between 4.30 and 5 pm. Later on, at night, the Beatles performed their fourth straight night for a John Smith event at the Fairfield Hall in Croydon. On the 7th of September 1964, in London, the tickets for another Beatles Christmas show, a Christmas production planned for the holiday season at the Hammersmith Odeon, went on sale today. It didn't take long for all the 132,240 tickets to be sold. Meanwhile, in North America, the Beatles played two shows at the Maple Leaf Gardens in Toronto, Ontario, for a total audience of 35,522 people. It was another stop in the first North American tour of the Fabs, with the now usual madness. Paul's shirt was ripped when overexcited fans separated him and Ringo from John and George in the short path between the car and the entrance of the King Edward Hotel. A 14-year-old girl was found in one of the closets of their suite. The mayor came visiting with his wife, but was turned away at the door by a mysterious blonde woman. Thousands of policemen were busy maintaining order and the Beatles ended their day $93,000 richer, about $780,000 in 2020 money. I certainly can't command that type of budget when putting together the new material for the content I am currently planning. You can speed up the work by chipping in with a donation. Even a little sum will help. And, naturally, there's much more that you can do to help the growth of our little community. Visit www.simonmas.com support and find out how you can lend a hand 
and make the difference. Thank you! In 1967, the Beatles were again at the EMI Studios. Between 7 and 3.15 am, they kept on working on Blue Jay Way. After a reduction mix on the work recorded yesterday, George Harrison double-tracked his lead vocals, and, after a new reduction mix, producing Take 3, George, John Lennon and Paul McCartney overdubbed some backing vocals on the song, sent through a Leslie speaker to have a psychedelic effect. This ended the session. And it ends our episode 2. Come join tomorrow for more work on the Magical Mystery Tour project and what probably was the last attempt to keep the Beatles alive. For the moment, I wish you a good day and a fab continuation. Simon Mas, music you love.